Hi and welcome in new video. Now this is an important one. While AMD be ba basically a de facto choice on Linux, supposedly it's not all shine and rainbows. Now Linux browser situation is just crazy. There is so many different Chromium forks and Mozilla forks and yet there is so little perfect browsers among them. What I mean by perfect is video decoding and encoding feature. Yes, more than 90% of browsers on Linux either don't have video encoding capability or decoding is hit or miss or either they perform badly overall. No, with video decoding itself your mileage might vary depending on which GPU you have and which Chromium version you are running. If you are running pre 112 Chrome version you will still have hardware acceleration uh, but post EGL uh, Chromium was seemingly broken. Either that feature is deprecated or just broken. And Chrome falls back to software rendering or non-zero copy decoding involving CPU in a process. Oftentimes falling back to software decoding even though the Chrome itself is reporting false claims that hardware decoding is available under Chrome slash slash GPU, which is nothing more than a lie on AMD GPU systems. Now encoding support is even worse. Almost none of the browsers support it, only a couple uh, browsers do more on them later. Also, there are Gecko based browsers, uh, WebKit, WebKit GTK based browsers and Qt Web Engine based browsers as opposed to Chromium. There's also new player Ladybird which is moving really fast towards at least usable experience but none of them are cutting it actually for now or uh, maybe ever. Gecko or Firefox based uh, while mature their browser just stutters. Yes, you heard me right. Their browsers have mi micro stutters were playing video. Now, for those who don't know, micro stutters are basically just a little stutter. It's not like full frame is missing and they are usually harder to see, especially some people are less sensitive to them. Some people see them quicker like is from person to person different. Also Firefox itself is stutters more in vsyncTester.com. When CPU is strained you can also read more on box of these browsers on vsyncTester.com. They have a nice site and uh, for testing uh, vsync performance like JavaScript stuff. They also have site where they have uh, some common bugs listed from these browsers that I to do with uh, frame uh, timings and stuff. Uh, now some of the bugs listed may be already fixed and because the site doesn't seem regularly updated anymore but the site is still up. Firefox start uh, of course as I said stuttering quicker when CPU is strained and also reports weird times to javascript in vsync tester and that is kind of a deal breaker to me since I am kind of sensitive to stutters and I don't, I don't like them like on video when playing youtube firefox does firefox does stutter more than uh, chromium based browsers no vsyncTester.com is not actually that bad but might be also YouTube doing some kind of shenanigans and uh, like intentionally somehow making it hard to play video on like Firefox. So what about others? Uh, I also mentioned others like WebKit GTK uh, with another worse Epiphany browser, particularly uh, or Qt Web Engine like Kate browser or I mean not Kate, I'm sorry Kate is, uh, it's uh, Falcon, okay, I just miss, uh, write that. A browser uh, uses, uh, also I mentioned uh, Ladybird, which is developing quick, 
still not uh, I would say for uh, everyday web browsing maybe more of a sil simpler sites but it is moving fast because uh, like Epiphany and uh, Falcon are out already for I don't know lots of years and Ladybird is quite a new player here and it's moving really fast so yeah none of these browsers will cut it uh, for now so yeah Ladybird might be first that will be uh, become usable but for now I found two browsers that don't stutter and have video decoding capability on AMD GPUs these are Torium and Secure Blue. They are just amazing. Secure Blue being much more vanilla Chromium and Torium being Google Chrome that sucks less. Replacement with lots of uh, additional optimizations for AVX4 instruction set and UI optimizations. Developers of Torium rightfully criticized 2024 UI redesign and implementing so much good ideas to make that design more bearable. But sadly Torium is very inactively maintained. Last update at the time was six months ago and while project not being archived yet or maybe it won't be, but developer uh, is not having time to release new versions more frequently because of his full time job. Uh, so yeah only uh trivial end browser basically as i said before uh secure blue it's trivial end i'm sorry i misspelled uh is uh mm, yeah only that browser is actually left to us i'm not saying you shouldn't use chromium uh, or main torium uh, it's just really out of date by now and it, there were a couple of zero days out uh, in the meantime so if you search web like people used to and not only use couple of few, few websites that people use these days example youtube netflix twitch and you actually do stuff on the internet search unknown sites and stuff you are better going with trivial end uh, Chivialent is receiving updates very frequently and is hardened against known and unknown vulnerabilities. It also supports full, full hardware encoding and decoding via VA API on AMD, NVIDIA, also Intel. So support uh, these two projects. They are our only way out. Uh, of software decoding on Linux. Also, they are really good browsers, minimal and functional and out of your way. Now, as you can see, I am right here <laughs> playing video. And you can see decode uh, our uh, so-called AMD decode, IMD core uh, next, video core next is working so yeah the same on uh, torium also we have video encoding available to us and now i must say torium and trivial end both perform amazingly torium having some additional optimizations like i said avx4 uh, compilation for specifically avx4 and like so much additional stuff that will not talk about now sadly it's not so actively maintained anymore and yeah now if you liked that video please subscribe and like and we'll see you in the next one also we can compare with uh, or maybe this is the next video where we compare browsers okay so thank you for watching and bye